Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on between you and your person. How do you feel about each other? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in for Cancer. Messages for Cancer Spirit regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Cancer? Let's see what we get for you, Cancer. Overall energy between you, we have the Seven of Cups and the Empress. On your end, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's something here with timing. Waiting for the right time for something to like happen here. Been waiting for some time. On your person's side, we have the Eight of Cups and the Star, Aquarius energy. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So bold, fearless, active, um, the queen of wands, what she wants, she tends to get. Um, she's very uh, attractive, an extrovert. <laughs> so let's see what this is about in a second. Um, let's get the overall energy though. Spirit, what is the overall energy please? For Cancer and this person. What do we need to know about this connection between Cancer and this person? We have married souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. You marry each other in this special connection. Okay, what else? That one wanted to flip, but I don't know which one it was. Far apart, distance, separation, divide. Distance is affecting your connection. This always comes up for you, Cancer, that there's some sort of like a separation or distance from a soulmate so we'll see if we get a different message this time around what else do we need to know about this connection between cancer and this person what else do we need to know spirit for cancer this other person Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So even though there's distance, there is a tie, an attraction, something here that draws you together. However, release your ex is at the bottom of the deck. So maybe one of you has to release someone from the past. Maybe there's something that someone needs to walk away from. And I say that because your person has the Eight of Cups. So it could be your person. All right, can we get some um, insight, please? Some clarity on these energies for Cancer. Let's see what we get here for you, though, Cancer. Let's start with the overall energy, the Queen of Wands. Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. Let me just move these over. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Seven of Cups. Okay, Seven of Cups shows up again. Choices, options. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Three of Pentacles. Can I get one more? Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Hmm, then we have Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. So the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups, I think of someone that's trying to figure out what they want to do, especially with the Hermit here. What choice they want to make. The Three of Pentacles is a little strange though, because it's about building, working together, collaborating, um, 
So I feel like someone wants to put an effort into something, especially with temperance, like maybe bring back balance to a situation, um, bring some harmony, find some sort of resolution to a problem. Um, I see that with temperance. So I feel like someone wants to take action, specific action with the Seven of Cups. Um, so let's see what the Seven of Cups is about. Tell me about the Seven of Cups here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Lovers, Gemini Energy. Why is the Seven of Cups here? The Nine of Wands. death Scorpio energy this is someone deciding whether they should end something and I feel like they're still trying to figure it out two of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck here a back and forth choosing between two things trying to decide between two tell me about the Empress Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? The Five of Cups, Past Regrets, the Hierophant. There's something here that I don't think, it's like I don't, I'm not getting all the information. Eight of Cups shows up again. Okay, so Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I think what happened here is that this is someone from your past cancer there's a separation between you however there's still a bond here but there's an obstacle as well what was your last reading there's an obstacle between you yes making a move regrets and guilt this is a continuation of that reading i feel because this hasn't this obstacle has not been overcome that's why it keeps showing up I feel like you've been waiting for some time. You have the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Pentacles. You're hoping for the best possible outcome here. But um, I don't think it's up to you, Cancer. That's the problem. It's like you're trying to hold on to hope. But since it's not you that's going to eventually make this happen, like you cannot offer yourself an opportunity, right? Someone needs to offer that to you. I feel like that's why there's a little bit of doubt here. Someone's thinking about taking action. That's pretty clear. I feel like they wish they could be a queen of wands about it. Um, but whatever situation this is, it, it requires an ending. Death, eight of cups. There will need to be some sort of bot, like battle fought. Seven of wands is here. At the bottom of the deck, nine of wands is here. It's like the wounded soldier. Some of you could be dealing with someone that there's already an existing commitment because the, the Hierophant is here. Um, and the Three of Pentacles could be that there's three people, three individuals involved. Let's, let's dive into your energies. Cancer, I have you on the left and your person on the right. So feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Keep in mind that this reading will not be for everyone. So take what resonates, what applies. If you find that this doesn't resonate a lot for you, um, check out the Cancer playlist. It's linked in the description box. All right, Spirit, can we get some insight, please, on Cancer and this other person? Tell me about Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. I couldn't let you get close to me, so this is probably what they're telling you or how you feel, Cancer. Uh, maybe there was something that got in between you because of fear, intimacy issues, or just kind of like, I don't know, trust issues or something like that. Maybe it's not easy for you to be vulnerable or vice versa, if this is your person. Tell me about this other person that cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. Tell me about this other person. I will wait for a sign from you. Hmm. 
feel like they're waiting for a green light here. I bury myself in work to forget you. I think that this person, you know, it's kind of a shame because I feel like only they can make this happen, but it's like they're waiting on you. Tell me more for cancer. Tell me more. Toil and labor. This is effort, hard work, focus, difficulty at work. Wealthy man on their end. This is really, um, a, a, I think that this is like the king of pentacles is what I'm, I instantly am seeing the king of pentacles in my mind. Um, so someone very stable, has a good job, or cares about appearances, career, money, etc. Can I get one more? For this person that cancer is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? False person. So this person's wearing a mask. I think that, you know, there's a couple ways I could take this. You know, maybe wherever they're at is more stable but they're not truly happy there. Or this person is not someone that you can fully trust. Those are the two ways that I can take this, you know, because false person is about someone that's not who they say they are. So let's clarify your energies here. Tell me about the seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. Seven of pentacles and the wheel of fortune. The three of wands yeah you're waiting you're waiting on them waiting on their arrival waiting on their decision strength leo energy maybe you're waiting if they'll gather courage to do what they need to do and cancer if this is a repeating message it's because it's still the energy for you you know because i feel like this is a continuation of last year i mean last week oops Four of Swords, so no movement, no communication. And then there's the Eight of Wands. You're wanting this. You want an Eight of Wands, but you're getting a Four of Swords. It's very frustrating. I feel like you're hoping for this person to just hurry up and take action. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the Star. Tell me about the Eight of Cups and the Star. The Queen of Wands again. Seven of Wands. Yeah, it's about fighting back, being bold, being fearless, standing firm. And there's the Hangman. They're, this person, unfortunately, they're stuck. Tell me about the Star. They have hope or faith in healing something with the Star. Yeah, the Two of Swords. I feel like... They go back and forth with themselves too much. They hope for the best, but they fear the worst. Yeah, Four of Cups. This person's, you know, they're just not open to a new opportunity because what they want doesn't exist. They want a crystal ball that tells them that everything's going to work out. Um, this, this is very wishy-washy energy that I'm getting here. Like one day, you know, they feel very brave. Um, and another day they're just bogged down by like the details of things, by fear, by, and they could be dealing with a, you know, a situation that's not easy because the devil is at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn energy. So I don't know, there's toxicity, unhealthy attachments, addictions, things like that, that are kind of, you know, the obstacle is big. And, you know, I feel like this person, they think of you. I think, you know, in their mind with the Hermit, Seven of Cups, the Queen of Wands, it's like they really do want this. But unfortunately, I think this is a situation where an ending is required. So something has to end or change significantly. 
Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? The ace of wands. And bottom of the deck, the seven of swords. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, they definitely do want a new beginning. They're passionate about a new beginning. But it's almost like in their mind, they're going to have to be the bad guy here. Or do things in a deceptive way. Maybe they're hiding from someone. Maybe they're hiding their true intentions. Maybe they're doing things, you know, in a way that's not the most ethical. It's kind of frustrating. Can I get one more for this person? And then I'm going to extend this so that we can look at what's next for this connection and what are your person's true intentions can i get some insight please on this person you know when it comes to action i feel like it's blocked with this hangman yeah i don't know what to do that's the problem this person questions themselves Questions what they can do, what they should do, you know. And it's just, unfortunately, making things more difficult. Tell me about this. I don't know what to do. Tell me about, tell me about I don't know what to do. I feel like they're being pulled in two directions. They just need to be honest with themselves. King of Swords... Yeah, and there's the death card again at the bottom of the deck. They just need to be honest with themselves about this ending needing to happen, or they need to think more analytically, more logically, be cutthroat about this. They need to not think with their emotions. They need to think with their logic. And I think that's kind of like where they get tripped up. Curious. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.